obviously, got, man's got a turf here. Man's got a. And I'm saying, listen, big man, I'm gonna drop you home, fam. I'm gonna drop you home. Yeah. Also, the whole journey, cameras on before you start trying to. Yeah. Say man's. Yeah. Okay. Dash cam. Yeah. Dash cam in that. Yeah. I'm not a dickhead, bro. I'm a barrister, bro. You can't get me, fam. Yeah. You funky, funky, dirty self. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna drive you to your yard and tell your parents what you're on, cuz. Yeah? Okay. Your boy's not trying to get G GCSEs, he's trying to get STDs, yeah? Oh, what are you trying to say about your <laughs> Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to oh. another episode. I may just embrace it now, man. I'm gonna embrace it. I just embrace it. That is, that sounds good, man. Oh yeah. Okay, I do. I want to know the ethnicity of the person making that noise. But anyways, uh, this is another episode of Late Nights and Wet Wipes. I am your co-host, Mike Akadiri, and I'm joined by Skeng Father, big man, bigger than big yard. Yeah, Kazim Jamal. <laughs> He even gave up. He knew in his chest he, he wasn't that guy. He wasn't that guy. And as you can tell, uh, for those listening or no, in fact, watching on the visuals on YouTube, we are not joined by our third member, Darren Griffiths. He is still on paternity leave, getting the unpaid leave in. So it's just going to be us two. We're just going to run through some things. How you been? I'm good, man. I'm good. Well, I'm not good, actually. Why are you not good? Because you, man, were sneak this in me, Yeah. <laughs> When I accidentally forgot that we were recording. When you missed the pod episode. When I missed the pod episode. That's it. How many, how many points you down? We've not clarified what in the, the, in the league system table. is. We've not clarified what that is. So that, that's a, a, a missed the pod and lateness. You should be down. You should be down Darren 10 points. Three. Three? Yeah. For missing. Yeah, three for missing, one for uh, lateness. Nah, two for missing, one for lateness. So you're down three. I, I'll take that. You're down so three. He said it's three... One, but I think it should be two one. I don't think there should be any discrepancy between the two. Nah, I think missing one, like, like completely missing. Like I'm not here. <sighs> but anyway, you man must sneak this in me, yeah. Yeah, a few you keep going dudes. on. You keep going on about this uh, Destiny's Child reference. Yeah, and you said you, you said me. Yeah, you hit me. You uh, said, okay, okay. You said it's all good. Yeah, because if. Michelle don't turn up to the concert. No Ooh. one's like, ah. Oh, Ooh, that, oh that, that was actually Darren still. I just agreed. Okay. Well, all black people look the same. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was you. Yeah. Darren said that. Darren and, said and that. And I said, I said, boom, well, you know. The show went, that. And the show went on. And the show that's went the, on. That's the wickedest of thing. Of course the show's going to go on. But that's why it's a very funny thing because. But, but, but now it's Beyonce. Apparently now it's Beyonce and Michelle. Ain't no one come to see that. I think we'll get some viewers. No, no, ain't no one. In 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 reality, yeah. If you rocked up, yeah, yeah and it was blast. Beyonce and Michelle. Yeah, I'm listening. No, I'm, I'm listening. no I you're see not. I want to see bills, bills, no, you're bills. Not. You're you turning to your friend bills. or your girl or whoever you've gone with, and you're gonna say they could have kept her in the back. Yo, so you said that's what you're saying. You would have been just Sasha, Sasha listen, Fierce, just yeah. Beyonce, baby by herself. Listen. Yeah, I could do it. I think a monologue is tough though. Like I could, could Bill Burr does that. He does his own pod Monday. But you Monday can interact. Stretch, but there's someone in the room to interact with still. My man, John, producer John. Yeah, you could interact with someone. But then I'll be talking to him off screen though. You could if you were here on your ones. But let's let's not digress. You said the show would not go on. Yeah, the show could the show would go on without Michelle. Yeah. Right. Oh well. Yeah, that's 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 disrespect. Oh, you took it as disrespect. I bring a lot of I bring a lot of bands with me. You do, you know. You're you're a very important cog of this machine. That's why I feel like yeah, that group is not the right group for us. Have you, have you got an alternative? Because you've been you've been suggesting stuff, but it's not really hit. Like the one suggestion we can't do because of rest in peace takeoff. But have we got another suggestion? Because that would have been that would actually work really well. But that would have worked really well. All right, you know. I want to say G unit. <laughs> right, let's say this. Let's say, let's say the reasoning behind this. There's no reasoning behind it because even when I thought about it, 
Yeah. There's members that you don't care about. Because, yeah, you, you, you obviously got 50. You got 50, you got Tony Yayo, yeah. you got Lloyd Banks, you got Young Buck, what about, and you got the game. Yeah, game, yeah. So, what I'm proposing yeah. is that we are not a group <laughs> per se, but we are an allegiance. Okay. Under an umbrella. All right. Called Interscope Records. All right. So you're going to pick and choose. We have a 50. Okay. We have a Dre. Who's Eminem? <laughs> Yo, stumped. I love it. It's hard to stump you, so that Who was, was quite fun. Actually, actually, okay, no, take that away. Take that away, take that away, take that away. We are. Yeah. We are. Hit me. We can either be one of two groups. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so excited for this, right? We can either be Maybach Music Group. Maybach. The original Maybach Music Group. Not when he started signing everyone and their mate. Yeah, he said they're random. So just for those that are unclear, it's a rap group and yep. it consists of, well, it's a rap label, but it consists primarily of Rick Ross. Rose. Huh. huh. Meek Mill. I fuck my bitches in the bathroom. I fuck a walla walla run at you baby. That's a very niche. vulgar. That's a very niche record. That is very niche. I be riding in my old hood, but I'm in, in my, my new whip. whip. Same old attitude. YouTube oh, no, might no, pull no. us down. YouTube might pull us down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do not own any of those lyrics. So Bitch, I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine saying I'm a boss and then YouTube are like, no, we're the boss. <laughs> yeah. Remove. <laughs> Remove. Thank you. That's one strike. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And next probably we'll be like, guys, we're moving to Rumble. Uh... <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, all right. So, and the, and the other member is Wale. Wale. They're going to love me for my ambition. Ambition. Beautiful things have been in my vision. <laughs> I used to know the words of that part. They're going to love me for my ambition. Is it a dream? Ah, I used to know Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're saying too many lyrics. You well, wishes to my opposition. You probably cop a plea before you cop a pistol. I got nothing against them. Hey. They got potential. Hey. But every that can read got to get this issue. Hey. Subscribe, reside with all the lies and killers be. But I ain't hey. in the street. And I'm lyrically, lyrically, I'm lyrically ZMT. LeBron, I was in this at the 23. Hey. And money is everything. And hey. money is less important. Long as your mama love you. Fun don't flex. ever love your woman. <laughs> Fuck Flex. He <laughs> thinks he's him. He thinks he's him. Uh, only hope I had was selling dope. Had to grind because times are harder than to sell a bloat. Hey. My mama told me never steal and never tell them folks. Fuck Flex. Fuck Flex. I grew up listening to niggas that was selling coke. Oh. I was raised by the stop sign. Nine. No religion. I was getting saved by the Glock nine. nine. By a minute, I was getting paid like a hotline. Hey. Seven run. Fiends were calling. It was dot com. Okay, because he had a very good upbringing and he went to private school. Primary, private school. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came to the streets. I want to circle back to that, put a pin in that, that private school thing here. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> it's good we, had, we had a video that went very well about people lying about being poor. So I'm not saying you weren't poor, I just thought... Oh, just no, 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 no. My mum broke her back to send me to that school. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when year six was over, she said, boy! Boy, <laughs> <laughs> Dial it back. Yeah. Um, so we could be made back music music group. I, I like that. Obviously, Darren has to be. I like main that. Back music. I, I like right. that because, in theory, I could see myself with either of those three and be happy with either yeah. of those three. Or we can be. Okay, this is the dramatic one. Young money, cash money. Ooh. YMCMB. YMCMB. Birdman. Yeah. Lil I'll Wayne. treat y'all. I'll treat y'all. Put some respect to my name. I ain't going to say no more. Y'all done and y'all finished. <laughs> <laughs> Oxymoron. <laughs> you, know, you know you're a big man, but you're not making sense. You're still standing there stern. That's how your mum would say to you. Y'all done no, and y'all finished. Finish. <laughs> I'll treat y'all. <laughs> Which one are you meant to pick? <laughs> I'm done. So you ain't finished. Birdman I'm just finished. came and cussed so us out. So you ain't done. 
<laughs> Whichever one you pick, I'm whooping your ass. <laughs> uh, I'm here. What's Did up? you pull up to Ross like that? I'm pulling up to you. 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 <laughs> I'm, pu- it took his guys to pu- I'm pulling up to you. <laughs> Yo, boy, legendary. Charlamagne Legend. said, word. word. <laughs> So what can you say, man? You look, man, you got you got you got a, yeah. a real G pulling up on you, sticking it on you and your show. Woo! And uh the members that we could be in there, like we said, Birdman. Birdman. Yeah, okay. Weezy. Weezy F baby. Weezy F baby and the F is for whatever mm. the F you want it to be for. Yeah. Boom blast. And yeah. 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 Drizzy Drake, you yeah. coming live on the no yeah. side, kick game, run game, looking real good, but never ever have my sink court side. Jeez, that you knew karaoke cuisine. It, <laughs> karaoke something that you cuisine. don't know. <laughs> Tell me how to, you're supposed to stay friends when you got a bunch of pinches that you won't show, a hey. bunch of feelings that you won't show. I could tell, I could tell, I could tell certain people don't like me no more. Hey. New, don't excite me no more. Guess it don't, it don't really excite don't like me no more. Why don't it excite him? You could look me in my eyes and see I ain't myself. He thinks he's him. Oh. He thinks he's him. Karaoke Kazim. Boom. Come on. Boom. So, Boom. yeah. No, let's put it out to the listeners. Okay, I like this. What group oh. are we? Maybach Music Group yep. or YMCMB? If you don't know either of those groups, do a deep dive onto YouTube. Okay. But yeah, YMCMB, let us know in the comments. Send us messages. Are we YMCMB, Young Money, Cash Money, or are we Maybach? None of this, none of this Destiny's Child stuff no more. You know, I, we were out here willing to support the ladies because they're a very successful group. But Kazim, they are a very successful group, and it's black women doing great stuff. And yeah. commend, I commend you. It's amazing. You it's amazing. Black, you it's support a, black women. A hundred percent. My mum's a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know? Do you support any other black women? Yes, that's the point. Of course, I support black women. I was raised by a black woman. I was raised by the stop sign. <laughs> Okay. Those are Meek Mills bars. <laughs> Maybe he don't, but I do. I said you were. I said I said because he rapping this like he wrote the lyrics. I said he thinks he's him. Oh come on! When you hear gangsters rap, you got you got to become a gangster. One hundred percent. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> you know? Of course. Well, that's it. Every 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 time yeah. the songs happen. So shout out really to but... Destiny's Child. Keep doing it. Well, then not to give anymore, but. You did your thing. It was amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that excellent. I sang your songs. You were there. I sang bills, your songs. Bills, bills, bills. You, you were there rapping along. That's where you effed up. And you keep effing up on stuff. What? When it comes to black women. What? You sang Bills, Bills, Bills. Yeah. To the um, wrong tune. Or you pay the, or, my telephone bills. You pay my all of my bills. But it, it, sorry, it was the right tune. I don't think you do. Right. So it's so the right tune. you and me are through. But dun, 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 dun. Hey, come on, okay. cuz. You, come you on, sang, we are here, I cuz. I apologize. You sang to the Night right tune. Now R&B, cuz. But you said the wrong words. I probably did. You said bills, bills, bills. You, no one says that. What did they say? Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my automobiles? Can you pay my credit card bills? I don't think you do. So me and you are through. But da, 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 da. Hey, 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 hey. Give up for karaoke Kazim, man. He's coming yeah, through. There's no bills, bills, bills. So you don't know the lyrics that prominent black women wrote and I do, sang. I do, I do know. To talk about their independence. Yeah. Yeah, from the, the fuck boys. From the patriarchy. Fuck, you fuck the patriarchy. Are down the problem. With, down with the patriarchy. I don't support that shit. I support, I support women. I support Andrew Tate. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Have you subscribed to his uh, bail no. fund? No. I just got one of those. Okay, shit. Oh, I was <laughs> going to say Hustlers University. <laughs> no, because I... <laughs> Listen, my penis is big enough. I'm not saying it's huge, but it's big enough that I don't need to sign up to that <laughs> for someone to tell me how to be a man. So you think all the guys that sign up to them, they got they got a below average penis? No, I don't know. They might not have a below average penis, but uh, that's just me trying to be funny. But they've <laughs> they've got something. They they they're need def- a leader. They need a leader. They're deficient somewhere. They're deficient in confidence, mm. right? And self esteem. Mm. And Andrew Tate gave that to them. Mm. You know, they probably you know. 
didn't get probably the, they didn't get probably. the girl they wanted. They didn't get the car that they wanted and stuff like that. So they, that they the dreamt in, of as a kid. And they and so they joined the incel community. They joined that community and listen. When you take all emotion out of it, right, yeah. and take all allegations out of it, he played a tremendous character. That is marketing 101. He played a character. Yeah, he, he filled a gap in many the, of these boys' yeah, lives. To, the, to a T and was, uh, you know, he was their leader. Do I think, you know, some of the harmless things he said were hilarious? Yes, I do. When he said, uh, when he made fun of a barista, I thought that was hilarious. I never saw that clip. He was on a, it was on a different podcast and he was arguing with, a, he said he was arguing with a barista because he didn't have a mask on during COVID. Yeah. There was no one else in the coffee shop. And he said to the barista, are you scared of COVID? And the mm. guy said, no. Mm. And obviously he's doing his thing. I, I pulled up in my, my uh, McLaren, you know, yeah, my yeah, 250,000 yeah. pound car. I walked in like a boss. I said, yo, cappuccino. Yeah. He said, oh, you have to wear a mask. He goes, it's just me and you in here, bro. Are you afraid of COVID? He goes, no, but it's the rules. He goes, fuck the rules. That's why you're a barista, you pussy. And I, I spat my drink out because it came out of nowhere. So I jumped in my McLaren and I drove to another coffee shop. <laughs> there's some people... He, he's, he, that guy's insane. He's there's insane. some people that have some toxic traits. Yeah. Right. But as a comedian, and some people see it that aren't comedians, when you can look at something... Yeah. You know, without any emotion mm. and see the funny in it. Donald Trump, yeah, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. Yeah, he is. He's just, unfortunately, he was the leader of the free world. Yeah. So he needs to be, you need to be serious. If Donald Trump had a podcast, I'm listening. Oh, he's going to, he's going <laughs> to say some stuff. He's going to say some <laughs> sexist, misogynistic, probably racist stuff as well. Um, he, he just started cussing people. Yeah. In debates. Oh yeah. But that, cause he, he's got that bat now about him. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he's hilarious. He's just like, I, I, sometimes you're split, but you know, I shouldn't be laughing. This man was like, but that's in this comedy. Very serious position. I shouldn't laugh at this. But oh, a hundred percent. And th th what makes it funny is that he, in this position, he's being serious. Be funny. Yeah, he's being serious, and he shouldn't be funny. Like, he, obviously, he's said a litany of very funny things. Like, when you're there at a major press conference and uh, you're talking about COVID, you're like, it'll be done by spring. What are you saying, Cut? Like, where did man that called it the Wuhan flu. <laughs> it's, it's it's criminal. That's cr uh, China should have charged Wuhan him. The Wuhan flu. China should have charged him with something. I don't know how they didn't bring. When charges. are you in Edinburgh? I'm coming. <laughs> Why did they charge? I, they should have charged him with something. Like I don't know how they bans. <laughs> like I would be like boom. Like I you know through the who. Like we can't let this man. Talk right, grief, if I you know? worked in the White House. Yeah. Yeah. I'd wake up every day. In, ready for work. <laughs> well, just just to hear this guy talk greasy. <laughs> man was beefing. Um, man was beefing. What Kim Jong Un on Twitter? Cause... Sorry, Dave Chappelle said. Yeah, so he started sending him rap battle threats <laughs> with fire and fury. <laughs> Did you hear what he said recently? Uh, no. Uh, hit me. I think I think I saw something. Uh, he goes. Let me see if I can do the voice. He goes. Um, not uh, Russia started dropping the n-word oh can't yeah it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah 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 i saw that i saw that there still. are two n-words because <laughs> that's this in it there are two n-words one should never be said <laughs> and one is nuclear <laughs> nuclear oh yeah i saw that took me the f out i was on the floor i said yo this man is unhinged there's two M words that Both you must never, never say. Be, never say. <laughs> never be said. We all know what the first one is. And in the back of his head, I've said it many times. Oh, it's one of my favorite words. It's one, one of my favorite, favorite words. words. Actually, I called it Barakat many times. <laughs> <laughs> Barak is a very good M word, I have to say. I didn't like that N word at mm. first. But he's very studious. But he has a walk <laughs> that you just kind of fall in love with. I have many N words working at Trump Towers. Very good I people. gave them jobs. Very I said people. I would create jobs. I created jobs for N words. 
a Donald Trump and Andrew Tate podcast is a fucking billion dollar check just being wait, waiting. You think, so? you, think, you think Spotify will cut that? If, if, if Andrew Tate, obviously he's, he's obviously been in Romania right now, but if he busts case, do you think those Spotify will, will sign that check to get? If I was the head of Spotify, yeah, I'd be like, let's do this. For real. Let's do this. You're going to have a lot of feminists up up in the joint saying, look, you got, you're getting two of the most toxic men on the planet together. They may even throw a future Hendrix in there just to like make it a, a trio podcast. Let no, me t- let me you say- want a future in the podcast. You don't talk too much and you don't speak. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> he, that guy is yeah, he's, funny. Yeah, he's funny and toxic. He, like man Todd said. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's, uh, guys, for one second. Yeah. Let's switch the emotion off. Yeah. Of all these bad people and bad things. I just, just celebrate their humour. And just imagine it was a TV show. Imagine all this stuff you watch yeah. is a TV show. Donald Trump, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Future, mm. you know. Uh, what's the other guy that, that, that denied Sandy Hook happened? He's out in America. What, Ted Cruz? No, 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 and, no, no. And he no. had Kanye on his podcast. Ooh, oh, oh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye yeah. West. Kanye, Kanye West, well, he's, he's gone. Imagine that. He's got, no, he's literally gone West. Imagine been, those so. were characters for a TV show. Yeah. You would watch that. That would be hilarious, bro. Hi, Kanye. Bless <laughs> to you. But obviously, even when they linked up, that was mad. Yeah. That was I like that. Good. I like what you did. Fits my head very well. Very well, Kanye. Very, very well. I'm Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve Jobs, ho. They said, who does he think he is? A god. I just told you. But Why all- are there women working here? <laughs> I'm Andrew Tate, I can play chess. <laughs> just in a podcast, just like this. It would be nuts. You know what it'd be like? It'd be like watching that film, Glass. Mm. It's all these personalities just running around. Yeah, just running around. That would be mad. To get get all those people in a room, that would be crazy. And that would be the most... Spotify, make it happen. I think I'll shut down the internet. Just all these insult kids. We're we're pitching to the wrong people, actually. We're pitching to the uh, wrong uh, corporate company. Entity, should I say. The place is Rumble. Rumble. I've never... You mentioned Rumble twice. I'm like, I don't know. The place is Rumble. This is where all these outcasts go. And anything goes on Rumble. I didn't even heard of Rumble Cuz. It's a right oh, video platform. Flynn Piers Morgan in there. Did you hear what he said when he said I'm a black lesbian? Oh yeah, but that, that people were supporting him though. <laughs> yeah, okay. In the cool. comments. But do you see how uh one of the guests started laughing? Yeah. I would have uh, been rolling on the floor. Uh, yeah, journalist called Esther, yeah. She, she I would have been rolling. No, because obviously he said it with conviction, like he believed it. Yeah, why why can't I say that I'm a black lesbian? I would have died on the spot. Ah, ah, I ah, and ah, I would have ah. said to him, see, why can't you do more jokes like this? Leave Harry and Meghan alone. Let them do whatever they want to do. It's not bothering you. Do this. <laughs> Stop tapping dead people's phones and do this. Woo! You know, but no, that that was a Because miss- th- he's, he's missing a trick. What if he think? was funny. Yeah. And had a hint of likability. But I think with him, it's because it's, he's, he's got too much dirt on him. But I guess, you know what it is? He's always Mr. Contrarian. That's the position he takes. He's the contrarian. Mm-hmm. That that's he's, he's the contrarian the journalist who probes and says the unsayable goes good. So obviously when it comes to this culture of, you know, hate to use the terms, but like woke and, you know, the right of the conservatives being against woke and stuff like that, or the right wing being against woke, that's the side. But then there are people who think this whole stuff of, obviously uh, when it comes to pronouns and stuff like that, people think that is too far. Mm. So I think there's a lot of people just in the general public who hear that type of stuff. Like just going through the comments, there's a lot of talking perfect sense. Finally, someone said it. There's a lot of support for mm-hmm. what peers will do it. Um, so it's interesting because normally he's a contrarian. He's a contrarian against the people who are the woke lefty liberals in the commas. But I think there's a lot of people who agree with him actually. Yeah, no doubt. But you can you can be that person <clears throat> yeah. and you can have the people that share your opinion. Yeah. And you can wind up the people or whatever that don't. Yeah. Okay. And uh but you can still have maybe not necessarily a likability factor to mm. these people, but you're not 
you're not what he is. Mm. He like he's a wanker. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's his stick. He's I'm a dick, but I'm uh, a very inte- intelligent dick. If you want to call it that, articulate yeah. dick who I'll press you on points and he, he's a, a very probing interviewer. So he probes you and he yeah. backs you into a corner and stuff like he. he just... no, I, I tell you what, this is what it is. This is what yeah. I actually think it is. Um, so you can have you can have people that are you know dicks, wankers, wankers yeah. merchants, trolls, bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. I think he's a bad person. You think? I think he's... Okay. Would you, not, would you, have, a, would you have a think, drink with him? I think he's a nasty person. Mm. He's nasty. And that's... That's where the line needs to be drawn. Not mm. at people that make jokes and wind you up. Yeah. Trigger you because they know they can, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. Because we're all here together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's just life. I'm gonna wind you up. You're gonna wind me up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Blah. And we go about our business. And are they? Yeah. He's a, I, he's a nasty person. So you wouldn't. I have feel been... like he sees the guest and he's like, I'm gonna like. Yeah, I'm gonna slaughter you. I'm gonna slaughter you. Yeah, it's me. It's dead. we're just meat to him. <clears throat> and that's or and guest to meat to him. And that's different to saying, I'm gonna imba- like. Do, do you know? You must know James O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, yeah LBC. James O'Brien uh, will embarrass you, but he won't. End you? Oh yeah, but yeah, he's um, but he's, he's polarizing. Yeah, he's left wing. He's proudly left wing. Yeah, but he's hard hitting. He's oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. got a sharp tongue. He's yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. And he'll he'll lead you down a cul de sac. He's very uh, articulate. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like James O'Brien's a bad person. So the difference is, would you have a drink with James O'Brien? I'd have a drink with both. Because there's one thing that I am, and I said it to my friend the other day because he said something and I said, what, what, I can't remember what the topic was, but he said something and I said, why do you think like that? And he said, well, listen to this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Mm. And I said, but those are all people that share your opinion. Mm. Tell me the name of someone who you've listened to or read something from that doesn't share your opin- opinion. Mm. And then that's when I really respect your opinion because it lets me know that you've looked into both sides of the argument. And you're open to hear. Do you? Because there's a lot of that, and a lot of right wing people say, "Oh, debate me, debate. Let's debate it." But you think everything's up for debate? Because I think some there's some things that are discussed which perhaps it's, aren't for debate, in my opinion. There's things. That, there's well, well, first of all, we've got to figure out <clears throat> what is the end goal. Are we debating because we're trying to fi- find out um, f- uh, what the fact is? Yeah. Or are we debating so? You just understand where I'm coming from and I understand where you're coming from. We're never going to agree, but I can I can now respect where you're coming from and you can respect where I'm coming from. Well, some, well, well let's just take the example where we were talking about previously, obviously, where he said he's the black lesbian. Mm. That was, they obviously they had him who was saying that. They had, I presume, I, I don't know what, the journalist Esther who burst out laughing, I don't know what her stance was, yeah. but the lady that was trying to defend... Uh, the other lady, the brunette lady, she was clearly trying to be like, no, you're being disrespectful to trans people. Mm-mm. I don't think Piers Morgan in that thing was ever going to change his point of view. He, no. he clearly came in there and said, this is what I think, prove me wrong. And then she, the lady was fumbling, she couldn't prove him wrong. And then yeah. that's how it looked like it ended from the clip. So he's not going into that trying to change his mind. He's going into that to be like, prove me wrong. You can't prove me wrong. There you go. Right. And it doesn't need to be that. It doesn't need to be, but then that's how you probably get your sound bites, isn't it? Of course, but you can still. But there's no, there's no. What's the saying? There's no uh, one way to skin a cat. Yeah, Kurt Zuma, 2022. <laughs> mad you, Kurt. Mad you. <laughs> Absolute mad you, cuz. That's the quote. <laughs> that is a, that is a quote. One day. <clears throat> um, there's no one way to kick a cat, Kurt Zuma. Boom, two bad men. <laughs> Corners, free kicks, <laughs> penalties. Long Yo, tappings. That that caused mad outrage. Top bins, top bins. Yeah, side netting, S- side net. Oh, that's a good pen. Side netting. Yeah, that's a, that's um, a good pen. Yeah, chip. Take a, if you have any cats, you can take them away. Um. Yeah, sorry. There's no. There's no. There's no yeah. one way to skin a cat. He's choosing to skin his cat in the most like brutally, in, in yeah, most brutal way. It gets people talking. It gets people talking, but it gets them talking about the wrong thing. It just gets them shouting that 
each other in the comments or shouting yeah. at his. That's but then that's what he wants. He just wants engagement. He wants you to watch his stuff. He wants... Yeah, but when he when he's done, how, can he, uh, how do you sit down, look back on your catalogue of work and actually go, well, I don't actually know what I've done in this in in my industry, in my world. I'm someone that makes an impact or can, or can make an impact. He's a shock jock. That's his job. He's a shock jock. But then the, everyone's everyone's motivated, motivated by different things, you know. There's certain, yeah, there's... and he's dead. That's what. Yeah, and he's he's motivated by um, destruction. Yeah, essentially. Wanker. Yeah, yeah, I think he is because he he says all these things and he goes back to his plush rich yeah. life. So if he just he's not affected by these things. I don't think he. Do, do you really think he yeah, cares if someone and, says until until he picks the fight with the wrong person and he gets Charlemagne. Mm. But then again, I know people that get punched and they they, 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 they don't know. But I, I don't. That's the thing. He's too protected for anything like that to Listen, even happen. JFK, you're insane. No one's too protected, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fact that he the got Matrix. Got is, the fact that he got got is insane, cuz. Uh, but yeah, so it's like the debate. A debate should be, I'm not here to prove you wrong, and you're not here to prove me right. Yeah. I'm here to tell you what it looks like from my side. Yeah. You tell me what it looks like from your side. We debate those points. Yeah. Right. And the thing that, that and I feel like it's done on purpose. You always get someone on there on these things with Piers Morgan that thinks they're as articulate as him. Yeah. I'm not saying they're not, but. Stop trying to ward. Don't. Yeah, he's, obviously ward. he's good he's at his job. He's gonna jobs. spin you, bro. Yeah, he's got researchers that do the research and he's all that type. He's gonna spin you. So when, the, so when the lady said, um, "I'm paraphrasing," but from yeah. the, the, uh, oh, this me saying I've only seen sound bites myself. When the lady said, uh, "You can identify as whatever you ad- can I- want to identify as," mm. you, you you're gonna lose now. You need to know what the losing sentences are because yeah. that he can't say. If you don't say that, then he can't turn around and say, "Oh, I feel like I'm a black lesbian, yeah, or a penguin, or whatever." Yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. He yeah, likes yeah, to say. Yeah. Okay, he was open the door up for you, him. and he and it was like it's like when you see a boxer set a trap for someone. It's like, yeah, I yeah. did not see that. I'm not even a boxer. And I saw that, mm. you know. And it's like you need to understand that. But then that's where the debate comes in, and he goes, "So what are the parameters?" Yeah, yeah. And then if you say the parameters are like the universe, it's ever expanding and we don't know where it ends and we just keep going. Yeah. Then I'm allowed to say, mm. well, then I can, I can, then I can say I can be a black lesbian because you've just allowed me to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that and, but, and, and that's me saying, right, you guys feel like there's no end to this. That's fine. Do your do your thing. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree that should be the parameters. Yeah, but I respect that. Do your thing. Me, this is what I think, and they should go. Well, we sorry you feel like that, but we respect your choice as well. Mm. A debate should end. But then, do you know what it is? I think the problem Simon. is with those debates and what people will say. People on the sort of harsher end of the debate. Or repercussions, or the minority that's being discussed. Because normally, with all these things, it's a minority being discussed. Yeah. It's the majority saying we should be able to do this. Minority saying no, you shouldn't. And then there's this tussle, and then at the end, everyone just goes and does what they do anyway. But the you, the minority in these scenarios, are the ones that are like that suffer repercussions, and they will say, "Well, you just had this big debate on your national platform. That's going to encourage more hate against us." And that's usually why people don't want these things up for debate because it's like Piers Morgan go back to his house where it's people who live and they experience as a transgender person who could be at risk of these thoughts of people having these thoughts about them and their livelihoods 100% but I'm going to say something real right now yeah no matter what your your campaign is what your your uh, your activist for yeah there's no risk without there's no reward about risk, man. Mm. But then they'll, they'll say, what, me being, me existing is an activism. No. No. Yeah. But this is new. This is new. What is? The community, the LGBT. 
Yeah. But there's this thing. Someone said to me that I, I don't watch Big Brother like hot, like strong. Yeah, like the, that. the transgender won it. Yeah, like 20 years ago, and it wasn't yeah. like a thing. Now it's become a thing. Why has society like almost gone back in terms of making something which like because was... it's the same things people before us fought for. Yeah, it's the same things other demographics fought for yeah rights mm. be whatever you, th- th- this is the world we live in be whatever you want to be yeah over there shut your mouth just be happy you're here mm. shut up mm. that's why that's why we got stuff like oxtail shit cut of the meat bruv yeah but terrible yeah 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 and and neck bones yeah i saw that when i was in jamaica i was like neck but what, what's that neck bone trust me neck bone and that is that is just be fucking grateful i gave you something yeah to eat. fucking tell yeah. you, you're eating you're eating steak as and soon, you're getting a tell of the that's yeah. insane but as soon as it's like everyone hates dave Chappelle, but he's making good points right as soon as you stand up and yeah. say this is how I deserve or how we deserve to be treated. Get a gut, man. Whether that's physically. Yeah. Uh, or like uh, within your community, ostracized from a community. Mm. You know, financially, you get got. And it's going to take a minute before you get there. And if it's not you in your community, it's got to be one of you. That bears the cross. So is it basically someone's got to be a sacrificial lamb to get the rights that you want, essentially? Yeah, you gotta think you gotta think down the line. You gotta think you gotta think three generations ahead. Mm. Five generations ahead. And say, I ain't gonna get this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's footballers, mm. you know, that are looking at the money being made. Yeah. Going, fuck off. No way. It's crazy. But without them, yeah. there's no them. 100%. That's a very trivial example. But so you have to debate and you have to risk it. Black people risked it. Women risked it. The LGBT community are got have got to risk it. Mm. And you've got to debate. He, though, is not helping us evolve. Of course not. Of course not. There's someone to me like James O'Brien. Yeah. Whether he changes his opinion or not, same like with Dave Chappelle, he said, "I might not agree with what you stand, what what you believe." Yeah, but I I do believe you deserve to live with safety and dignity. Mm. I might not like you, Michael, because you're Nigerian, but that don't, it doesn't mean I want you to die. Yeah, or be abused or whatever. That, but that's the interesting point because they like. There's, I guess that's the difference between prejudice and uh, discrimination. Mm. I guess one's a thought and another's an action. Mm. And the fear is that if you have to thought, that will eventually lead to action. Mm. So there's tr- more, more time people try to eradicate the thought before mm. it becomes an action. Everyone, but everyone's... I mean, you can't control people's thoughts. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't control people's thoughts. People, people would not like you. We go on stage as comedians. People, without even knowing us, have probably said, not for me. Yeah. Before we said the joke. And hopefully over our set we can convince them, but they may just sit there and be like, nah. Hmm. Nah. Regardless of where it is. Could be our walk, could be our build, could be our skin colour, hair colour, whatever it gender. is. They, gender. They could have just made a made the decision not for us. But I guess the fear is if you harbour hateful thoughts, hateful thoughts could become hateful actions. And these people, like you said, like a Piers Morgan, who may have a debate, may be validating some people's hateful thoughts which may manifest in the future as hateful action so that's where the concern comes in yeah true and look, not everyone's not everyone's the same some people can hear hateful it's like rap music people for years have said rap music is dangerous they're, they're talking about in some rappers talk greasy talk mm. shooting killing killing their ops fucking some bitch all this type of stuff some people can listen to that and be like oh entertain them some people be Lighting. like, that's like, I right, cool, I want to be like my rapper. I'm going to ride that on my ops. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So everyone takes it differently. Some people be like, oh, that's just entertainment. Some people be like, you know what? That This is my life. You know? And everyone different. And that's the same with. Well, those people need to stop procreating. But you can't, can't stop it. 
<laughs> they'll, be, they'll be on a podcast saying that uh, <laughs> that the uh, child support needs to stop taking twelve percent. But um, <laughs> throw it back to the yeah, man. episode. But, but you see what I'm trying to say? I see what you're trying to say. I yeah, I, I understand what having you're people. Saying. So, but then it's like, how do we govern that? And then then you almost start becoming that person that goes, well, these people can't be on the airwaves, but they should be on the airwaves. They should be on the airwaves to highlight how stupid they are. But some people will they see it as you, but some people will see it as, yeah, he should be on because he's speaking my truth. And it's like, but well, that shouldn't be your truth. And well, that's even where if the danger is. your truth. Yeah. Don't act on it, you dummy. Some people will, though. You fucking. But some people, some people will. I know, I know. And they, and Listen. Valid, especially, look, if you're, if you're caught slipping, unless you go to the wrong area, let, let, let's just use race because we're, we're both black guys. We go, we go to, let's say we go to the wrong area in this country, go to one town where it's like, the population is ninety eight percent white, and they just don't like. Oh yes, man. Anyone else? And we get caught slipping. We're on late. We, let's say we just walk into a pub on a Friday night oh. in an area where these guys really don't like black people. Yeah, and we go to the bar, try with a drink. <laughs> Them Bexley, them Bexley, London Borough Bexley areas, I bet. Changing now, it's changing. But yeah, no, no, I think they're I've been just there for forced. a long time. It's changing. Um, but you can go into the place and it could, it could kick off. So they're looking at you. You may be like, and you may not even be like, I'm on war. You may be like, what, why can't look at me like that? And it's like, what? Boom. Mm -hmm. And like, it could kick off. And that just comes from they're harboring these thoughts, having a bit of juice in the system. And they wanna, they feel validated that these, these these feelings are true, and now they're gonna act on it. Well, who put the first thought into their head? Could could be a, a variety of things. Media, a lot of things, a lot of things. Media could be how they're brought up. Because well, no one, no one thing is, is brought think... up hating anyone. As a child, we've got kids. They're young. They're very. Our kids are very young. They don't hate anyone. Like my oh. son's not got stranger danger at the moment. He's in, only four months in a bit. Mm. He, will, you pick him up. He will go into anyone's arms. He mm. knows. He knows who his parents are. I think now because he smiles more. But he, anyone that picks him up, he'll go into their arms, regardless of their background. Yeah. So when they're born, they don't have any. Kids hate. aren't taught. Uh, kids aren't born hateful. They're of taught course. hate. They're yeah. taught exactly. So I think it goes back to, well, what was on in your house? What mm -hmm. conversations did you hear? Because yeah. even if you say media, yeah. well, what what programs were on? Hundred percent. You know, what radio station was on? 100%. What podcast was on? What literature is around the house? But then nowadays, when they're talking about teaching kids and schools like, oh, we should teach their kids about LGBT. No, you can't do that because you've got to teach. You can teach them. You can teach them. To be why, why are you teaching them about <clears throat> being gay? That's the... Teach them about people differences. That's yeah. What, that's what PSHE is and all that stuff. Teach them about differences. Yeah. But there needs to be... And this is this is where the respect thing comes in. Some people might not agree with what I'm about to say, but there has to be an an appropriate age to start learning this stuff. Well, I guess the debate right now is what is that appropriate age? What is that appropriate age? Hey, listen, I'm not the guy to say. Mm. Uh, but I tell you this much, I'd I i would not I would ra I'd rather my son learn about it, you know, in the la the latter stages of his primary education like a like a soft touch what like eight or eight too soon for you no like year six so that's okay, like so 10 11 10 11 right because now you're gonna because that's now like a soft touch like here's just a nudge yeah of it right of what other people are like and what yeah because yeah. right? you're gonna see it in the playground and you're gonna have he's gonna have friends no doubt and they're gonna yeah. be like my mums my dads or my thems what yeah, you know yeah. they're gonna mm -hmm. have so that conversation is here. Yeah. That I mean, sorry, that, that those words are here. That you know, um, and there's no, I don't care. That's the biggest thing about it is I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff is here, so he's gonna hear that. Mm. Again, I don't care, but he's. I need him to know what it is. Comes home, I can tell him. But, but then obviously that's the thing. Lo loads of times, I'm sure these kids go home to their parents to be like, "Oh, I saw this. What does that mean? Oh, I saw this. What does that mean?" And if and, and then it depends that's on where the it parents. Comes from. Yeah, of course, all, all, all of it comes from. I say a lot of it comes yeah. from the parents it's and the media. Same. And then you you listen to stuff that reinforces what you think, and then it's that like, boom. And then it's just like, cause no one is perfect. We've all got, we've all got our biases. We've all got our prejudices. We've all got our discriminations. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the idea is 
now that stuff is more highlighted than it probably was in the past. So, you know, if we've got blinkers about something, hopefully some, maybe something happens in the media or on Twitter or something that makes you reassess as you go along with life. But I think um, even our parents, there's probably some stuff that they said that mm. now you're like, mm, you probably shouldn't have thought that or you probably challenged them on their, their preconceptions. And mm -hmm. that comes with you meeting said people yourself and understanding that mm, what, what mum said there probably wasn't. Or right it was or true to her feelings in that time. Yeah, hundred percent. We're not there no more. Exactly. But it's very hard to get someone out of that, especially if they think they know what they think. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, especially if someone is convinced about something, and it's very hard. Even if you sometimes show them facts to the contrary that they believe, it's like, well, you know, that was just that one off or whatever. They they may generally just hold that thought. Yeah. You know. Um. So yeah, there's no. It's the, look, this is why smarter people than me handle it. Oh, or oh, own the debates and stuff. Yeah, like I wouldn't mind because sometimes I worry that people think that I can't articulate myself and I can very well. Yeah. You know, I just like having a laugh. Yeah, 100%. And just being... It's the easiest way to go. Just but like I said, we circle back yeah. to private education mm. at primary school, yeah? That has served me in such a way that I can go to a banquet okay, and move like you've never seen me move before. And I can go Hold your own. to Lewisham yeah. and not skip a beat either. Okay. So, so you can move in two different saying. environments and I can be, move, be, I feel be, like a shapeshifter. Be calm. be calm in both. Yeah, because I've been exposed to so much. I've been exposed to the richest of richest people I've ever met in my life. Yeah. I've been in the ends. Mm. I've been part of a rugby team and travelled up and down the country. Yeah. Northerners, Kiwis, Aussies, Samoans, yeah, all seen, these people yeah, I've been around, big, right? Big dons. Yeah, man. I've 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 worked in many different places. Yeah. Uh so I feel like my family is just a crazy mix up of of barristers and and then you got others that are doing yeah. their own thing. <laughs> <laughs> In the most Yeah, I feel like you could drop me anywhere and I'd and I'd and I'd hold my own. You hold your own. And you would never and, and you would wouldn't think anything of it. But that that that's nice and that's I guess that's a testament to obviously your mother's parenting yeah. and bringing you up and I know making taste, sure I know how to taste wine. Yeah, I, I would like I was that. taught how to taste wine. By by Marjorie. No, 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 no. That wouldn't have been by, a primary school. By people that were in my network. Mm. Yeah, they. T I went skiing in year four. Yeah, that that private primary school is different. Cause. Yeah, like for example, like I went to my mate's house and I said, "You got can I have a biscuit or something like that, just yeah. a snack." And he said, "Yeah, it's just in the larder." Who? And I, and I said, "Exactly." I said, "You mean ladder?" He said, "No, the larder." That's what rich people call a room. For savory snacks and yo, food. it's a room, bro. Well, what what area is this house in? Blackheath. Oh, oh yeah, serious. Yeah, private estate. Serious. It was. I walked into it. That's where. That's what the Americans have. It. They, they have skits. Yeah, they have like the a pasta. Like a little room, like a little cupboard. Bro, it's about like, this size. Yeah, he's living different. Yeah, I saw, I went to his bathroom. I said, "Why you got a toilet next to the toilet?" He said, "That's a bidet." Man said, "Clean your ass, fam." I'm seven. Jeez. What's a good day? You must have never wanted to leave. I remember when I walked in, I said, this is a nice house. He said, this is the hallway. Your cuss. Stuff like that, it's tough, man. So that's why, I think, that's why I think I have these opinions and angles on life. Because I've been exposed to so much in my life that yeah. I'm grateful for that it's all good, man. But the difficult thing is that you make a fair point. Obviously, you... you you went to a private school, so you had that insight, but you also, you went to a, a went comprehensive back to school. to Lewisham. Yeah, a comprehensive but, school for secondary school, yeah, right? Yeah. But not even that. When I leave my private primary school, yeah, I'm going back to Lewisham. Yeah, it was culture shock. Where drive-by shootings are happening you, you, on my road. Yeah, it's, it's not a joke. It happened in my hour, yeah? It's not a joke. It happened. I've been exposed to so much, man. So when I see people say this and that and this and that, I'm just like, bro, there's a big, there's bigger life out there, man. Let everyone do what they want to do. It's all good. That's true. And respect obviously. their decisions. They respect ours. We're all gonna die. 
you know, one day we will. Hopefully, we not know. a drive by shooting a yeah, Lewisham, yeah, but you know, because that, that could bring you can lower that life expectancy. Yeah, 100%. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, probably be black E from my larder. Oh, uh, yeah, just, just be very safe. In there. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're all gonna die, yeah. and I don't even know how we got on this topic, but just don't be nasty, have fun, joke about everything and everyone. Yeah, have fun, don't be nasty about it. Don't be nasty. Don't be Marcus Nasty. Don't be Marcus Nasty. Okay. N A S T the Y. Um, right. And uh, what was I going? What was I going to end that with? Just yeah, live your life. Don't be nasty. Respect others' decisions, even if Res- you don't agree with it. Respect. Yeah. And uh, respect. Yeah, man. No, it's true. We 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 live in a very uh, uh, a multicultural, very diverse society, and we need to learn to live once amongst yeah. others. It's not just our opinions which are the main opinions. There are different ways of living, and we have to understand that just because it's not our way doesn't mean it's not the right way yeah. for them. And we're gonna move on to our parenting dilemma real quick. Thank you for sending this in. Uh, it's not something that we would have dealt with by now. Um, someone has messaged saying that, and I'll keep them anonymous. They found they their asked for that. 14, they asked for this, yeah. So they found their 14 year old daughter's phone unlocked. Oh dear. And they had a little. Oh dear. You're just asking to be news. hurt. Snooze. They, they, they looked for it. You're asking to be hurt. They saw some messages, and oh, he's talking to her boyfriend. Oof. About 14. Sex. Mad thing. He's talking to her boyfriend about, about sex. They're just talking about it. Just talking about it. So there's no evidence that it's happened. They're just talking about it. And do, what was, and the question is, do I confront her? Well, what we first got to um, understand yeah. is w- what was the conversation? Because, okay, if I opened my stepdaughter's, oh, my stepdaughter's phone was unlocked. Yeah. And I said to myself, do you know what? I'm ready to make myself angry today. Yeah. By going in it. Mm-hmm. And I saw a conversation about sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just imagine I opened the text and there was a title on the text message that just said "sex," and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, "Oh shit! Oh god, look, he's, he's I can't hear anything. He's lost himself. How do I do this? Oh my gosh! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not breaking character right now." Yeah, there we go. I'm still holding the phone. Yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah. Subject sex. Sorry about that. Just says sex. Yeah. I'm looking at it. Mm. A million things running through my mind. No doubt. I hope I don't see anything in here that I, you don't that, see no dick pics that is or illegal. anything like that. Yeah, full in your all, dick. That's crazy. First of all, actually, parents are about be careful about that, bro. Catch a catch a dick pic come through. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta open that text message like this. <laughs> Squint well, your eyes. You're squinting, but that's gonna focus on the no, no, on no. the dick pic. No, 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 no. <gasps> Yo, plausible deniability. I'm not sure what I saw. <laughs> Cause I, I can't. I, no, I don't want to see it. I don't need to see it. Yo, right? You decide. You decide to open it, knowing that whatever you got to see, you got to go tell. Yeah, you got to go tell mum as well. Yeah, that's a difficult conversation. Crazy. If that was me, yeah, I'd make my stepdaughter feel like she lost the phone. And then just before bed, I'd unlock it and put it on my missus' side of the bed and make it found out that like, she found it. And I'd be like, what? That's mad. Rotted. Because that's a difficult conversation. <laughs> so you're, 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 but then, so you're going to basically pin, pin it on your, on your partner, let her find it, and then act, yeah, act like, like I've w- never seen it. And then, and are you going to be like, let's say she's like, okay, what do we do? Do we confront her or do we just. Well, what I was going to say is it all depends on when you open it, what that conversation was. What what all parents, I think, at that age, yeah, yeah, would like to see is a responsible conversation going on. Yeah. Like if, look, man. No, they're, they're just sexting. They're, they're, they're sexting. They're, they're talking sexting about, they're like, they're like look, talking like, about I, I wanna, like, I can't wait. Oh, we're gonna, it's going to be so much fun. And, but I want to see some maturity in that convo. So I'm like, I'll, I want to see something I'll, like, have you got the doms? Okay. So let's say there's no condom talk. They're just talking. They're just talking reckless. They're talking other. wreck. They're like, I can't. Like, I can't wait. Like, I just want to feel it. Like, I'm ready to do this. Then I like, turn into the paedophile hunters, and I start pretending to be my stepdaughter. Well, she's right. gonna know this. You'll thank me later. Okay. Like, so like, like, like the, the boy, the boy, the boy, is, the, 
The boy's same age. Boy's same age. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck. What fuck's wrong with you, bro? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was fourteen once. So you know, you know, you know, you know how to do. No, the girl was older than me. Remember, I said. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I was done dirty. I was done dirty. Very. I'm a victim. Anyway, I start pretending. Yeah. Oh my god, get here now! My parents aren't in. Send live location. Okay. I'm ready. When he pulls up. Okay. Come in. Yeah, you know where my room is. He's holding, he's holding his dick. He's coming, holding his dick because he's thinking I'm gonna have sex for the first time. Fam, he's bust three times on the way. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, the bus driver had to pull over. It was yeah. crazy. Okay. Had to peel him off the bus seat. Yeah, it's just stuck to it. It's just stuck to it, bro. <laughs> when he walks in to the bedroom and he sees me there, hmm, 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 mm. and whoever talks first loses. So you're just going to look at him. He's going to be holding his dick. And you're just going to be looking at him and his dick. That's when I think the real Nigerian in me will come out. We're going to have the belt. Right? Because you obviously you are Nigerian, yeah? Yeah. I've only got one Nigerian relative. Yeah. In my immediate family. Mm. Like full Nigerian. But it will come out. What did you expect to happen when you came here? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you got one Nigerian relative? <laughs> <laughs> because you have you have turned up to my premises premises and I see no uh, books to study where's your homework where's your homework this is cock work <laughs> are you the devil you have come here to poison to go wala <laughs> my my stepdaughter I you seen the the, the 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 rage? I'm not even related to her. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to deflower anyone that has the same DNA mm, as me. Mm. But I love her. I will kill you. I will <laughs> kill you. Wow, straight straight Liam Neeson with it. You will end up in McDonald's. <laughs> you end up in Mac, and then obviously. Man's got a turf here. Man's got a. And I'm saying, listen, big man, I'm going to drop you home, fam. I'm going to drop you home. Yeah. Also, the whole journey, camera's on before you try, try to. Yeah. Say, man's. Yeah, okay, dash cam. Yeah, dash cam in that. Yeah. I'm not a dickhead, bro. My mom's a barrister, bro. You can't get me, fam. Yeah. You funky, funky, dirty self. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to drive you to your yards. And tell your parents what you're on, cuz. Yeah? Okay. Your boy's not trying to get G GCSEs, he's trying to get STDs, yeah? Oh, what are you trying to say about your... <laughs> oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Wow. I just thought it'd be a funny line. I didn't really think about the correlation. <laughs> I know that's how I'm dying. <laughs> you know, I just said that bar to be funny, and I was like, in my head, I was like, this is sick. <laughs> and I didn't really realize what it meant. <laughs> hey, hey, check your boy. Yeah. Check your son. My daughter's got the STDs. <laughs> no, no, no. If you've seen this at home, that was a, that was that was a very big mistake. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Stop laughing like that, bro. You're giving me so much trouble at home, fam. <laughs> it was funny though. It's a funny line. He's not trying to get GCSEs. He's trying to get STDs. Boom blast. Um, yeah. Boom blast. Okay. Because I don't know what he's done elsewhere before he's come to my house. That's why, Michael. Yeah, you're, 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 you're afraid he go spread what he be got. Yeah, what he's already got. Boom blast. You see what I'm saying? Nice save. So do all that. Patting him. Yeah. Don't let me see you again. Yeah? Yeah. Dutty. Stinking, dutty, dusty you, bruv. Yo. Yeah? What's your name again? James? Yeah, fuck off. Dirty youth. Then I gotta go home. Yeah. And deal with this one. That's problem though. This is what you're doing in the house, yeah? She wanted to, she she didn't This is what you're doing in the house. But she got she could be big mad. You went for her phone though. I'm glad I went for your phone. Does she not gonna trust you? You're gonna be like, fuck it. I'm leaving. You no, watch this. Phone. watch this. Yeah. Watch this. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. Watch this. I gotta tell your mum. Okay? I gotta tell your mum. 
I ain't got to tell her everything. Mm. Yeah? Today, yeah, this never happens again. Because the next time it happens again, I'm watching you now. Remember, I'm watching you. Yeah. You don't even know what where the cameras are that I've set up. Yeah. Yeah? Not even your mum knows. Boom, blah. That's why I got all these nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah? I'm going to tell your mum you're just having some dirty talking text messages. Yeah. And I tell her, I've spoken to you. She don't need to speak to you. Mm. I've laid it down. Yeah. The law of the house. Boom blast. Yeah. If it happens again, I've got to tell your mum. <sighs> I've got to tell your mum. <sighs> this is father daughter privilege. Yeah. FDP. This ain't, I'm not even putting step in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm talking to you. FDP. I'm That's the FDP. If you break my trust again, boom blast. I'm telling you, mum. Woof. Everything. Woof. Now, flip side, my son did some stupidness like that. Yeah. He's getting berated all around the house, fam. Oh, you're telling everyone? Everyone's getting. Everyone's bad. Hey, it's going to be hey, bad now. Hey, look at this. This is dummy. <laughs> this is dummy. Come, hey, dummy, come in here. Talking about, talking about he's going to do this and that. Brother, brother. Said he's going to be stroking. Nah, stroking. You better nah, go stroke the dog, fam. <laughs> You want, to, you want to drop everything in there? Yeah, nah, trust me. Do you want you to stroke? You dummy. You need to stroke them pages in your book. <laughs> Fucking idiot, man. And read them books. Fucking dumbass. Is that what you want to be doing? Yeah? You want, you want to be doing? Look what happened to me! <laughs> <laughs> Avoid my mistakes! <laughs> Say no mistake. No! On a Phil Mitchell tip. All right, man. But I didn't want to pay 9%! <laughs> I'm already gonna do the big You're gonna be in arrears, you ain't even got 9% to, to take. That's 9%, 9%, 9%. You can't even your nine times tables. <laughs> You're having solidarity with my man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that has been. Another episode. Uh, that, hopefully that's some good advice to you. Hopefully you appreciate <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you could take anything from that. Go in the phone. Listen. It's her mistake. She left the phone open. You're a parent. Your primary uh, responsibility is safety. Boom blast. Your primary responsibility is safety. You are keeping your child safe. They might be angry at you today, tomorrow, the rest of the year, but they're not going to be angry at you forever and they're going to reach an age when they go do you know what mum i'm glad you did that okay i'm glad that you did that you was there to protect me and it may even come as late as when they become a parent do your thing what's the name do, oh, anonymous. Anonymous. do your f thing anon right do what do what you need to do to keep your child safe okay I ain't going to add night to that. I'm just going to say that's been another episode of Late Nights and wait, Wet Wipes. Oh, I've been gosh. Mike Wackadiri. That's been... 9%. Mr. Kazoon 9%. And I'm Mr. 12%. Take care, people. Peace. No, don't, wait, wait. Don't cut off. Is it still running? I don't like the way you did that. What? I just got, got a bit more, didn't you? I don't know about, like the way you did that. Well, take one. You said 9%. Okay, let's you do You said 9%. Do, you John, when I, say my, when I do this, switch it off. Ready? Ooh. We're going to run it one more time. Ready? Ready? So close out the show again. All right for the second time that's been another episode of late nights and wet wipes i've been mike akadiri this has been nine percent and i'm 12 percent boom blast big up the prep workers <laughs>